Hello and welcome to Nerdy Thursday. Uh, this might be a little longer. Um, just sit back, relax. Some things I should, probably should have touched on last week and didn't. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, was really into the cards. Uh, but first off, I finally finished a game. I just hunkered down and stayed in the game mode. Once I found out uh, Gotham Knights here, I finished the like the side detector stuff. Uh, it was uh, Clayface, Dr. Freeze, Harley Quinn. I think that was it. Uh, once they really didn't add to the main uh, game part. I thought it was going to be all kind of connected somehow. Uh, I, I mean, this game's over a year old, so it, the, the main villains are Court of Owls, which to me is very underused, but it's been overused here lately. I've, I, it was funny because I read read the, the the comic on it last year, the what is it, the graphic novel for it last year, I should or wasn't last year, four years, five years ago. And it was probably out years before that. To me, that was one of the best Batman stories I've ever read, uh, even bigger than uh, Joker. Uh, Joker stories, because I think Joker is just, just so... I know he's the number one villain, but my gosh, like, how many times... We don't know who he is, don't know any background, and so... Sometimes you feel, I feel empty with what's going on, even when he tells, like, you watch a show and he tells you how he's got the the smile. You don't know if it's true or not because there's really no background on him. Um, at least that's my feeling. But anywho, uh, so I played that. Um, I played the first part of the game as... Nightwing, which I had a lot of fun doing. He's kind of, I mean, I've got four people. You got the tank, you got the ninja guy, which is Robin, you got the electronics person, which is Batgirl, uh, and you got the leader, the 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 warrior, which is uh Nightwing. Um just the classic squad setup. So Nightwing was fun for a little while. Then I played with Robin. Robin was a lot of fun. He's got something where he can, you know, if you play the Batman series, Batman can hang from gargoyles and stuff and, like, hang the villains by their feet, knock them out, have them hanging by their feet. And uh, Bat, uh, Robin has that in this one. And that's kind of that, that's kind of cheating almost. <laughs> But I had fun, but it was a couple of things that I thought I needed to do uh, for some reason, and I needed Batgirl to do it. Uh, so I started playing with her to get those done. She does electronics. She's a sneaky sneak. Uh, so, But she's a good fighter. She's fast. Uh, and she, for, she has a, some power. You just have to hold the triangle button a little bit longer. Uh, but she has a lot of agility and speed, so you, you just might take a little longer to beat up on somebody. Just got to be patient. Um, so I played the second half of the game with her once I figured that out. And the costumes were fun. I didn't unlock. I didn't 100% it at all, not even close. I was like, let me get this done, and then I might go try for what? I, yeah, I, once I found out I didn't have to go fight all the stop every crime to move the game along, uh, that's what I did. Uh, you know, I, I went out and did that to build my character um, stats up and all that uh, to get the, but I didn't even have all the weapons. I didn't even have half the weapons and still beat the game. Now, did I have it at hardest? No, I did it at medium. Uh, I got stuck maybe twice. Uh, one, I just kept playing and play. I bet you two hours in one spot. Uh, in the clay face part. Uh, and then uh, 
another part I got stuck and I finally had to look at YouTube to get some notes on that. My gosh, I was wondering who was, what all that was about. Uh, nothing. So uh, it was a fun game. You know, one to five, 2.5 to three ish. Uh, would not recommend buying it at full price. Uh, I did day one because I, when I got a P, the only way this was released was PS5. So I went out and got a PS5. I, I got on a whole list. As soon as this came out, I got went to Sony.com and got on the waiting list to be in a queue to hopefully buy a PS5. When they were so hard to get at retail price, I was not going to pay double retail for PS5. If I would have got the game, it would just sat on my shelf till I got PS5. So, and I got the PS5 in the game and uh, was living here and I was kind of just uh, working five, I, I have to get used to working five days a week, which I, I kind of am now. I haven't in a long time. People go, what? You know, uh, I used to work uh, two, three, two shifts, so I was off half the time. I had a lot of time, downtime during the day. Uh, I feel like now working every day and I'm more rush all the time to get stuff done. And weekends, I just don't like sitting around the house, sitting in a chair playing a game. I like to go out to do stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, that's going way off topic. And like I said, I got quite a bit to talk about today. Uh, so that was the game I played. Finally finished that. Now I'm going to move on. I believe, uh, I don't know what I'm going to play necessarily, but I think it's going to be Far Cry 6. Had that uh, game for a while. I got the Jedi game. I was almost put it in to play, and I was like, "No, I don't want that headache right now." Do have a few pickups, so um, I have a an antique mall that's a also has a Star Wars store in it. Last weekend, the star the the antique mall had ten percent off, including the Star Wars store. So I got this. Uh, Got it very cheap. You see there's damage here. Uh, hopefully I won't have to put tape on it. Uh, but Stormtrooper and a TIE Fighter. This is from Star Wars. Star, TIE Fighter Pilot, I should say. Star Wars Rebels. One of my favorite Star Wars shows, movies, whatever. However you want to call it. That's probably one of my favorite ones. It favorite ones that ex it explains a lot that cartoon explains a lot in in the star wars world believe it or not if you want to know about the uh the black the dark blade that's the tv show to go learn about it uh what why it's so big in the mandalorian uh it, 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 that's where it's coming from and a lot of the characters in the mandalorian live series or in the cartoon, and a lot more are going to be in Ahsoka. Can't wait for Ahsoka. Uh, let's see here. This one here, I just love these type of uh, boxes with the scene in it. I picked up a, a same guy. I got a Stormtrooper from New Hope in the uh, jail uh, thing where Princess Leia was kept. Uh, this one is Tatooine, the search for the droids. Just love how they did that. I mean, it's it's nothing special. Uh, it's just, you know, just trying to pick up stormtroopers, trying to get the ones that uh, excite me the most when I see them. Um, he did have one other one, and it was a little bit more pricier. I might go back and get that later. But I saw this when I first walked in, and I knew uh, this was a must-have, and I knew I wasn't going to spend a lot. I just wanted to go see, pick a couple of things, ten, you know, ten, a couple of dollars off here and there. Uh, it's, it's not a short drive, but a 40 minute drive for me. Uh, but this is Grand Admiral Throne, uh, 3D place scene. I uh, haven't seen this, but this is the expanded universe. So I'll show you on the back. If this, the scene folds out, you can put Throne in it. Uh, yeah. So and it came in a protector. It, it wasn't that expensive, but uh, yeah, I, 
I'll take that all day. Um, the the car the card looked really really good. Um, no separation in the plastic. I mean, it just looks really really good. I, I was it was kind of in the middle when I went on. This is a guy that I had a. He prices his stuff according to eBay, but this is an eBay. We're not paying eBay fees, so it should be less. I'm not. You're not mailing it to me. Nothing. I, you're, you're not even working the shop. You're, the shop is in somebody else's shop. I mean, you come in, set up the displays, and go home. They they work the shop for you. Uh, so let's be honest about the whole thing to be truthful. But uh, love. You know, I'll go back. He's a nice guy. I met him at a show. A uh, little bit of small Comic Con. Wasn't impressed with it. Uh, the Comic Con itself. But I did meet him. He gave me his card. Uh, so we have some retro stores. Like I said, this is a huge antique retro area. I, I find stuff all the time. Uh, this was in the one. It was uh, Batman first appearance. It's out of the 60th anniversary. Or whatever. What is this? Oh, 80 years. I'm sorry. 80 years of Batman first appearance. So this is the old, old school one. The original. Love that. I like the old school ones. I, the newer ones, you know, I like Super Friends. I like the 66. I like that one. I don't like too many of the movie ones. I, I like the original, the... Uh, the Batman TV series before the 66. Um, I, I just don't like too much of the cone head or, you know, too much of, of the, of the uh, movies. I, I like the movies. I just don't find them uh, aesthetically pleasing. Then, uh, then they had two different colors. These were a dollar 19. Okay. Uh, something that you would usually see at a dollar store. I saw these in Target. And uh, they had a lime green, lime green, and orange. I don't know if there's more in the series or not. These were the two that they had. It says one of five on both of them. Uh, I probably have to look these up. It just says help Batman fight crime and protect Gotham City and these Batmobile expired vehicles. But I just thought for a dollar nineteen, pretty cool to have on my shelf with my with my Adam West stuff because it looks just like that stuff. I have a Lego uh, of that Batmobile that I need to put together. I keep putting it off. This I ordered from Tops.com. Finally got it in a in a uh, frame. It's a 10 by 14. It's a weird size clone commander jet. So now I have, uh, let's see, I have clone commander Bly, Cody. Um, I think that's it for the clones. And I have a cis jet trooper. Um, and then I have the uh, batch, uh, bad batch. So. I got to figure out where to hang this here. I probably put it over here in the lower part of the wall. Kind of running out of wall space for the spray that I got these. If not, I'll put it on my, put it on my hallway. Um, but I'll probably hang it up over here. Getting ready to redo how I got my setup here. So I can get a TV over here so I can try to stream a little bit. Uh, let's see. I think that is it for all my pick em ups. It is. Um, so now I'll get into what I wanted to talk about. So let's see, what did I want to talk about? Oh, I wanted to talk about was there have been some game shows. You know, they got rid of E3. If you're not familiar, it was a thing they did in uh, LA. Uh, I think they did it in Vegas some too. Uh, it might be Vegas where they did it, where all the game and electrical electronic companies come and show off their hardware and the games show off their software um, for upcoming things you, you would see like that was the first time I saw some uh, 
game stuff for where you can play different consoles, like your Retron 5s and things like that. Uh, they, they, I was kind of hoping, I haven't seen in a while, but the Nintendo 64 can't be played on those because of the technology and the software. It's kind of weird. Um, you can't find something to read them. Uh, but anyway, it's something they're trying to work on. And, and that's, I have a Retron 5. It plays Sega. It plays Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, Famicom. Uh, then I can get another part to put on it, uh, an extension to play Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Don't think it plays uh, 3D or 2D, uh, the three... Uh, but I have a handheld for that. But it's just a good way. My NES died a long time ago. Uh, and then what made me get this was my, Se my uh, not my Sega, but my, uh, yeah, my Sega died on me. And I was like, son of a gun. And I was testing games that I bought. And uh, I just, uh, so when I went and bought a Retro 5, that way I can, don't have to worry about it. Don't have to have a lot of consoles. It hooks into an HD TV. Uh, it plays in HD format. Uh, you know, up upscales it. Um, it's not bad. I, I like it. You do need to get a better controller than what comes with it. Uh, just throw that out there. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. See, I get sidetracked. I can I can talk about when I get passionate about any of my hobby stuff. I love to talk about it. Uh, so, but there there are companies do their own, and then it was Summer Pass, which is basically the gaming part of E3, but there, it was just done in separate days. So they separated in mobile. Ubisoft had a uh, part, which Ubisoft kind of talked about. They're doing, an, I, I pre ordered my Assassin's Creed. But they had two other Assassin's games, which I haven't looked into. I just thought about it now that I need to look into. It, it might even, it, one looked like it was a mobile game. And I was very confused because they're Ubisoft, they're French. And I try to blame it, but they're speaking in a very heavy French accent. And uh, I'm doing other stuff. I don't just sit and watch TV. I have to be, I'm multitask my parents don't i can have two or three things going on and have pay attention but i wasn't i mean i would have to put down everything and sit there and just what's this guy saying uh so i was having trouble with that i was just like i'll just look it up later um but anyway uh microsoft did a whole thing wasn't too impressed with anything they were really talking about um but they did Starfield, a whole hour and a half on Starfield. And it just reminded me of how they pushed Destiny 2. Uh, not Microsoft, but the game developers. And they pushed uh, the other Star game that you fool around, Cyberpunk. I have a theory in the gaming world. I'm scared when they have to push a game that hard. So people buy it on opening day. And I'm also scared when there's a date out there, not in the first quarter, because usually the first quarter is a holding place. I found that out um, when there used to be a lot of gaming shows and get this knowledge and gaming magazines. But if it's in the first quarter, it's usually a holding place. And then they'll set a real date. Or late. It just means it's coming out that year, and they just want to put it in the first quarter, so the people that buy shares know, hey, there's a game coming. There's a triple A. We're gonna have it in this year. Um, sometimes it comes out in the first quarter, but most of the time it's later. So uh, that's that's how there's. So if a game comes out and they have a date for it and they keep pushing, pushing it back, that's what happened to Jedi. I'm always fearful. Finally, they got to get it out. They have to get it out for their shareholders. 
they got to make the money to make the next game. I, I was like, and then it came out broken. And then wasn't to me, I don't, I want my Star Wars games where I'm, I'm, I'm fighting, fighting. I don't want to be figuring out how to get through a, a dungeon crawler. I, I, I don't want to play Rubik's Cube. I want to play an uh, action game. Um, and then when it controls don't work very well, I become the old man on the lawn. I don't have time for this. I got so many other games to play. I, I just don't have time for it. And uh, But Starfield looks beautiful. Has a great idea behind it. But it was very broad and sketchy, even in an hour and a half. Uh, I couldn't, at first, I was like, you're just exploring and you're doing world building. And then you start, no, then you end up, I and also building ships and a fleet. Not necessarily, no. You, you go and you're recruited by this team and you develop you don't know who you are and that's when you go and make yourself and you can and it's really in depth on how to they really went hog wild on how to make yourself which i don't find that impressive in games i really don't if i can make a fat guy with a beard okay i could do that on my tendo we doesn't impress me uh i was just like in baseball 23 this year I could take a picture of myself and scan it into the game, and it's supposed to be a picture of me. Wasn't even close. But anyway, uh, th then you go and you can fa fight other factions or make friends with them through multitude of ways, religion, uh, politics, different ways of thinking, you know, theology. I'm like going... So it's pretty much a hundred thousand different ways to play this game, or there isn't, because <laughs> it kept coming back to, I don't know. It was kind of, it might have been just me where I'm like, man, you're going this in depth, and the guy that's doing, I wish I remember his name because he's really known in the video game industry. I, I'll probably think of it after I get done with this. Or three, three, three good nerds will probably know who I'm talking about. Um, which thank you for uh, reminding me on the CSG, CG, C, CDG, whatever. Uh, I, I really, I'm, I'm nervous about it. And I really didn't see many games that really was like, whoo, got to get that game. Got, I'm sitting on my edge of my seat. Got to get, you know, you got the next Spider-Man coming out, which looks okay. I have yet to buy the last two on opening day. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big, I like Spider-Man because I'm a male that grew up in the United States of America. I think most of us like Spider-Man, some more than others. Uh, but for me, I'm a DC guy. I'm a Batman guy. Uh, I do like Spider-Man, though. I did. I've waited and got the, the last two games at 20 bucks. And that's what I'll probably do with this one. Um, and I have yet to play them. And, they, and they're on my list to play. I, I just haven't got to play them. I know they're great games. And uh, this one, you get to play with Venom. Everybody's fired up because they want to know who Venom is. i seen a picture of all. I didn't know that there's been an unnumber amount of Venoms. Um, so, you know, I just don't like everybody else. But then, okay, uh, got to Nintendo Direct what was this past week. And that one kind of got me. We got Super Mario RPG Returns. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I know people, you know, Nintendo grow Pikmin is probably a big thing. Uh, I The Super Mario game looked really, really good. Uh, Let's see what else. I, I'm trying to think. You know, the actually the Sonic game looks really, really good. These are games that I love to play on my Switch. Side scrolling, 2D, 
Uh, the Super Sonic, the, the Sonic is a four player co op. I think the uh, Super Mario is as well. But the thing with Super Mario, I think they said couch co op, which uh, don't like that. I, we're, we're in, uh, you, you should have either or, um, or both. Uh, let's see what really this wouldn't intrigue. I like to see new stuff, new, new, new games, new, new, new ideas. Uh, so this is this game is uh, called Myth Force, and it's an RPG. I'm not an RPG guy, but I, I think I might have to get this. And it's made after like late '70s, '80s cartoons. I love. I just got my Star Blazers T-shirt this past week. Uh, I love seventies and eighties cartoons. Super Friends is my favorite cartoon of all time. Scooby Doo. Uh, I, I just love it. I grew up. I, I feel bad for these kids today on Saturday morning. All, they don't have the same stuff as we do. I mean, man, it just. I love it. And then you end your day with the uh, Looney Tunes. This is it. Hit the lights. I mean, it's just, I love it. And it just, watching it, um, again, it's it's got all the different, the classic squad, you know, for this, a magician, an archer, uh, your, uh, your, your, your star guy that's going to be your, your everything. You know, you got a couple of different ways to play it. You know, you always you're gonna have your tanks. So, you know, it, it's it's a basic setup, but just done. I love the cartoon, and it looked like it wasn't making it wasn't taking itself too seriously. I like games like that. The other thing, which I'm waiting to see the price point, hopefully because it's a remake and and they're taking older games and getting remaking them. For the Switch and the Gotham City Trilogy. I love those games. Love, love those games. And if the price point is right on day one, I will probably get that. Um, I, I don't, it, it's not a $60 game. It's not a $40 game. I don't know if it's a $30 game. It might be a $30 game. You get three games, but it's a remake of games I already have. Some of them I have on multiple systems because I got them cheap on the other ones because, I, I, like I said, I love Batman. Uh, Batman, Assassin's Creed, uh, you know, things like that. Love it. But I was really um, – and this other one, it says the vampires in another coffin. It's – Vampire Survivors. Um, what it is, you're in the middle of the board and you get these weapons and you automatically shoot them and you try to get treasures to upgrade your weapon to stay alive from the hordes of vampires coming. And you can play up to four people co-op. And I kind of thought it said couch on that one too. I'm hoping they don't mean that. It looked interesting. It looked like the texture of uh, the old Gauntlet games to me. Um, but it looked interesting. But again, it doesn't look like a $60 game to me. It doesn't look like that's something that you'll play longevity. It's something you just stick in for a little while, get your yayas, and, and then move on to something else. Very arcadey. Um, so I, I, that game kind of interested me as well. I'm a Switch guy. I, I, I'm going to be disappointed if they try to move on with that. Because I think there's, if you're going to move on, try to improve on the technology you have, but don't give up on the technology. Don't, don't let the people who can't play with their Switches. You have so many out there. Um, I did look in at LLD. Uh, I, I might get one for for the Zelda um, if I can find one out there because uh, I have I have day one I have a day one switch I bought mine day one midnight release at Walmart in the middle of Iowa uh, 
So I, I was up and I was like, no, uh, I work swing shift. I was working graveyard. So me and uh, I'm actually a couple other guys from work were there. Well, they're not, they don't work there anymore, but uh, it was probably, I just missed out on the, they just sold the last Zelda special and I had, I got the regular Zelda, but I did get the nice Zelda case for it, the carrying case, which, you know, I, I play it more as a mobile game as a, more than I do on my TV, but I have it hooked to my TV right now because I was playing in, uh, what was I playing in? I was playing the Repu uh, Republic game, the Command Republic Commandos or whatever, the old school Xbox game. I couldn't see it very well on and handheld it. The, the picture is not as clear as on your TV, of course. Um, so sometimes I have to play it on the TV, and the controls didn't work very, very good on Tony Hawk's Street on uh, the skating game. So I ended up playing that on the TV. I, I could sit there for hours. That's that's um that's why I like like that game, that vampire game. Tony Hawk is just a mindless arcade game, and I'll just sit there. And me and my friends did that in our Many moons ago, when those games came out, and we lost so much hours of doing nothing as 20-year-olds playing that game. Uh, work all day, everybody show up at my house, and we either played that, we had, an, I had a Nintendo game, Superstar Wrestling or something like that, that we played all the time. Uh, but... I, I, I did like Nintendo. My only thing I didn't like about Nintendo Direct again is, you know, it was done on their YouTube page. So it was done all over the country. But it, I, I think they'd be better served by doing it regionally, uh, having English-speaking people instead of somebody narrating the two top dogs at Nintendo Japan. Um, I think we would have gotten more out of it, more through they're very enthusiastic. I like the snaps. They were on cue. They, you know, they're very. They were they were Nintendo. They were they were live action, little little what do they call those little they, they were they were that they were, we were doing all that noise, uh, so that was fun to watch. But you know, it was kind of, I, I don't know. It was I I don't. You're trying to sell me something. It, it, I think we, I don't want to miss something in translation. Uh, but anyway, Nintendo had some stuff. The rest of the systems, you know, I got my PS5. I have not been overly energetic on anything that the PS5 has released. I mean, I've got a couple of sports games. I picked up a couple of other games. You know, most of the time I'm watching, like, hidden gems or something. Uh, but I keep finding Switch hidden gems and stuff. I have a nice little collection of Switch. I also buy Limit Run games, and I usually get those on a Switch more than I do PlayStation. I do have a couple for PlayStation because, to me, if it's a platforming game, I'd rather have it on a Switch. I think the Switch is awesome for platformers. Uh, you know, that's, that's what they're hard, man. It's, you know, they... Nintendo took the platformer and with Mario and just exploded with it. You know, Donkey Kong, just everything they've done. And I mean, others have tried to emulate it, but you know, I, I love Sonic on a Sony. Uh, my Sega, that was when I was my first Sega. We that's another game. I lost hours and hours of mindless time. Uh, 21 years old, playing Sonic the Hedgehog, me and my best friend. Uh, we also played a lot of NHL 93, uh, but <laughs> that was that was the game. Uh, so with that being said, I, I think that's about it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If anybody's got anything else to add on the gaming, I know not a lot of people watch this for the gaming. They, they like, you know, to see sort of pickups and stuff. But I, I do like the game. I'm going to go play something right now, hopefully Far Cry 6, dive into that, and uh, everybody enjoy the rest of my day. 
start back to work on Monday. So try to get as much done as these last weekend. Uh, you know, you look back over, I've been out for two months. Yeah. A lot of time I only had one arm. Uh, so it wasn't, I could play, but I couldn't play a long time arm and one in that just sitting there. Even now I, I, uh, play some Fortnite. I can't play that long on my arm hanging. Um, it's still not stable. Uh, we talked about that today in my therapy, just a touch on me myself. Uh, but it's getting better. It's not like it's hanging off by threads or anything. It's stronger. I can do things. I'm ready to get back to work. So I'll be back to work on Monday. Uh, with that being said, like, share, tell a friend, subscribe if you haven't. Um, let me know, you know, what games you're playing, what books you're reading, what is your summertime watching list. I, I need 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 something. I was gonna talk about. Uh, I didn't want to get too much over thirty. I was gonna talk about a war a werewolf uh, a TV show I've been watching. I get it's on Paramount Plus, but it's done by MTV with Michelle. Uh, Geller, um, I get. Uh, I don't want to get too much away because it's not that old. I mean, with streaming now, you can go back. You know, that's you can go back and watch stuff at any time. So, right as of right now, we'll talk about the Writers Guild later. But anyway, uh, you know, tell me what you're watching. Like, because I'm upset that they're taking uh, Gotham Knights off of CW. One and done. So until the next time, see ya.